Sometimes, even in the winter, you just want a fresh, clean fragrance for after you've been in the shower or finished a long day at work. So these are my top five fresh, clean, invigorating fragrances to put on after the shower. Stay right there. In at number five, this is the most realistic grapefruit note that I've smelt in a designer fragrance. New release in 2021, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Forever. Now, as I said, this is the most realistic grapefruit note that I've tried. It's very fresh, very zesty, and very invigor invigorating. So if you've just come out of the shower, you've had a long day at work, and you really want to feel uplifted and have an effer effervescent fragrance to lighten your mood, this is a great choice. So Light Blue Forever in at number five. My number four spot is another new release for this year and when I first tried this at the airport a few months ago I wasn't very impressed. I wrote it off as a generic blue designer fragrance with no substance but I've since had a sample and then bought a new bottle and I've been really enjoying this after I've been to the gym and had a hot shower. This is Explorer Ultra Blue by Mont Blanc. Now yes it's in the Explorer lineup. This is the original Explorer but they don't smell anything alike. Um, this one is a kind of Mont Blanc's take on Eventus, whereas this goes in a much more, I would say, oceanic blue direction. So this has got notes, it's got sea notes, you've got exotic fruits, bergamot, you're gonna have vetiver and woody notes in the base. So it's very clean, very fresh, and I really enjoy wearing this after the gym. This is Mont Blanc Ultra Blue. Now, I was unsure whether to include this or not, simply because of the price. Um, full retail price, I would not recommend it, but they, this company, you're gonna know who it is in a minute, always do buy one get one free deals or 60% off TikTok codes. It's Jeremy Fragrance's brand, Fragrance One. This is Office for Men. Now, to be honest, this gets a lot of negative reviews, but I think a lot of people just slate a fragrance on review companies like Fragrantica because, Fragrantica because they don't maybe like the owner, don't like the personality of the person who owns this brand, or they just don't like the uh, exorbitant prices, which is fair enough. But I've got this as a buy one get one free offer, which are always running on Fragrance One's website, and worked out to be about £65 for 100ml, so I think that's a bargain. This is an unboxing a broxin bomb it's got a lot of unboxing in the top notes um, which really carry the fragrance in the air it's got a really large projection very good longevity especially for a fresh fragrance which is very hard to do because a lot of fresh fragrances do not last that long so i think what they've done here is wonderful because it's a fresh fragrance long lasting and powerful this will get you a lot of compliments if that's what you're into so number three spot office for men now my number two spot is an absolute legend of a fragrance. It's been around for a long time and it's had a lot of hype over the years. It is Chanel Allure Homme Sport O Extreme. Now for me this is more of a fragrance you would wear on holiday. So I want you to imagine you're walking along the coast in Europe somewhere, in Italy perhaps. You're wearing a nice white shirt with the buttons down. It's 23 degrees, you've got the sea breeze going through your hair. This is a fantastic fragrance to wear. It smells very expensive. The projection is nice in the first hour and a half. It doesn't last that long on me, um, but other people have said they get really good longevity for this, but for me, it doesn't last all that long. Now this has notes of mandarin orange, mint, vetiver, and tonka bean. Now tonka bean, tonka bean has a kind of vanillic-like quality. It smells sweet, and that mixes in with the mint and the fruity mandarin really well make this smell very luxury, very expensive, and very invigorating. So if you're going on holiday somewhere and you want a luxury fragrance to wear, it's gonna get you compliments, go for this. Chanel Allure Homme Sport O Extreme. Now my favorite fragrance to wear after the shower is Aqua Di Gio Profumo. Now this is the flanker to the original Aqua Di Gio that came out many years ago, but I wouldn't recommend you buy that anymore. I would always go for this because it has better performance and it's a more modernized fragrance. Now this is very aromatic. You're gonna have sea notes in there. You're gonna have sage, rosemary, um, patchouli and incense. Now the sage and rosemary give it this aromatic, almost relaxing quality. You can just smell the cap. 
and if you've had a hard day at work and you come back and you want to just smell this, it just makes you kind of have a big deep breath and relaxes you. The incense gives it a kind of, it adds to the longevity of the, the fragrance. You've got the aromatic notes in there with the sea, uh, the sea oceanic notes and then mix with the incense, give it this lovely projection um, and this gets me a lot of compliments every time I wear it. So if you're looking for a fragrance that you can wear all year round, not just in the summer and the spring, but if you're looking for a fresh fragrance you can wear to the office, after the gym, after a shower, this would be my best choice. This is Acqua di Gio Profumo. Okay, that concludes this top five favorite fragrances for after the shower. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It would really help me and help the channel out. Of course, there were many other fragrances we can include in this list, so if you can think of any alternatives that you would have loved to have seen and the fragrances that you love to wear when you want to feel fresh and invigorated, then put them down below. I will read the comments and I will reply to them. Um, so I will, guys, I'll see you in a few days for the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.